What's good guys? I am back again with another video and if you're new to the channel, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I need everybody to turn the post notification bell on so you guys know when I upload a video because you already know the channel is lit. You did. But anyways guys, today's video is going to be about, we're going to be reacting to five most expensive houses in the world. You feel me? So... That's what we about to react to right now. Number five. We all want a dream house, but unfortunately reality is different and no matter how hard we try, we can never have that huge mansion that makes us not want to ever leave home. Well, that's the reality for most of us. However, there are a few fortunate ones who have the possibility of living in houses so- Oh my God. I know that's not the house right there. You'll believe they are a fantasy, but they're as real as you and me. Prepare the tissues, because you'll cry with envy when you see these houses which you'll only be able to buy if you win the lottery and multiply that money. Today, we'll show the five most expensive houses in the world. But before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number five, Fairfield Pond. Fair, Fairfield Pond. Field Pond. Have you ever dreamed of having a house so big, spectacular, and spacious? Yes, yes, I dream every day, and that's why our family we are grinding on youtube right now so make sure you hit the like button tell everybody to subscribe to the channel let's get it you don't have to leave it to have a good time well this house is exactly that it's so roomy a residential complex could easily be built there it's located at 924 bel-air road in los angeles california oh this in bel-air dang that house mad big like i think it's larry lit here like will smith or something it has no other than four floors distributed in 38,000 square meters, in which you can find a total of 12 rooms, 21 bathrooms, six living rooms. Dang, 21 bathrooms? <laughs> and three kitchens. Or, what's the same, everything any house in the world has, but in a big way. Dang, it's nice. I like that fireplace. As you can imagine here, space is not a problem. Uh, what? You can land your helicopter there? Man, they wildin', y'all. They wildin'. Those who live here will never have to make a line to go to the bathroom. But don't think that the space and the incredible number of rooms and bathrooms is what makes this house amazing. No, sir. In addition to the price, which will tell you- Man, that TV big, man. That's a nice TV, man. This house has all kinds of incredible luxuries. Wait, you could- <laughs> What? You could watch- You could watch, um, what is that? Five different channels at once? On some undercover shit, on some like, you know, top secret spy, spy lab. <laughs> what is going on on here? What's going on here, y'all? Okay, about a spa, a fitness room so you can stay in shape. Dang. Y'all, y'all see that fitness room? It looked like, it looked like a real life fitness, like where you go to pay a membership to go get a workout. Like, it's, it looks big. Dang. A fitness room so you can stay in shape. It has its own cinema that has 40 seats and more than 7,000 movies. Dang. 7,000 movies come with it? Huh? Never heard of that before. 40 seats and more than 7,000 movies. 7,000 movies. Wow. And it has 40 seats. Imagine taking your whole gang in the theater and y'all just lit. Y'all got your own personal movie theater. That's crazy. You don't like to go to the cinema and share the room with a lot of strangers. This is the perfect solution. The only detail is that you have to be a millionaire to be able to afford this luxury. If this seemed great, wait, there are still several luxuries to be discovered in this impressive mansion. In addition to everything you've I just- can't, I still can't believe you can land your helicopter there, man. <sighs> If I, if I, definitely if I had that house, I would have my own helicopter, you feel me? We finna, we about to get in the helicopter, y'all. We about to get in the helicopter right quick. The girl gonna be like, pull up. I, I'm like, I'll be there in two minutes in the helicopter. <laughs> you dig? Told you, this super house also has an impressive 35 square meter swimming pool. A giant TV. And to make it better, it has- <laughs> They got a TV in the pool, y'all. What? I need to go check this house out, man. This house is goals. They literally, guys, you see that view? They have this nice view, and then they got the TV. Like, that's really dope. Like, I'll take some nice pictures out there when the sun is out. Like, 
You can take some bomb pictures out there. Other than two sellers of liquors, one of wine and another of champagne, because you already know what they say. Variety is the spice of life. Dang. Life that could be a wine closet. For all the kids that's watching, that's Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid and water. But anyways, guys, that's, that's a lot of room. A single seller when you can have two. In order to enjoy what's inside the bottles, this house has six bars so that its owner can choose where he feels most encouraged to have a good time. Six bars? They have a bar inside a house? I never heard of that before. And to give it another touch of luxury, it also has a helipad. There are so many incredible things inside this house that it's almost impossible to mention them all. There are tennis courts, bowling lanes, collections of cars, and- Tennis courts, bowling lane, collection of cars. Imagine me putting my i8 in there, y'all. All go with the Bentley in there, and a Rari, and a McLaren, and a Lambo. Come on, y'all. We get in there soon. Smash the like button, family. I'm going to take y'all to the top. Cycles. A pool table made of glass, among many other great things. That pool table made of glass. Never in my life I've seen a pool table made of glass. Like, that's got to be really some nice stuff. And they got a candy machine? Is that a candy machine? Fortunately, you can't have. And finally, if you do want to live here, you need about $248 million in your piggy bank. Number four, Via Leopoldo, France. Can you imagine a house that is as big as eight football fields? Well, stop imagining it, because this place really exists. It's known as the Via Leopolda. It's located on the French Riviera and has an area of eight hectares. But this impressive- We're going to France, y'all. He says located in France, so grab y'all passports. We out. Has gone through many things before becoming the incredible mansion we can see today. It was built in the year 1902 by the Belgian King Leopold II, who paid only one franc for the land. In 1915, it became a hospital, and later in 1950, it fell into the hands of Giovanni Agnelli, owner of the Italian car brands Fiat and Ferrari. Later, the banker Edmund Safra bought it, but after his tragic death, the mansion passed to his widow, Lily, and ended up being sold again. Its current owner is a Russian mogul. This impressive property is located in the hills of Villefranca sur Mer and Bialu sur Mer, a few kilometers from the city of Nice. Man, I'm trying to go there, guys. I'm trying to go all over the world, like, like, guys, literally, before you die, you want to go everywhere around the world because you only live once. And, you know, I would love to see every part of the world. That's why I'm grinding so hard. Because we about to get there. Do you feel the vibe? Let me know down in the comments if you guys feel the vibe or not. Living here must be a dream come true. The spectacular green area surrounding the property give it a unique touch. But those beautiful gardens aren't kept by themselves. With Wix, you can create a professional website that looks stunning. Just go to Wix.com. The best part is... It's said there are approximately 50 gardeners who have to work daily to maintain these beautiful spaces. Dang, 50 gardeners? Like, literally, guys. <laughs> you got 50 gardeners. That's crazy. So, the price of the house isn't the only thing that should worry the owner. Maintenance must be almost as expensive as it was to buy it. The property has a living room of 400 square meters. But one of the most impressive things is the 12 pools. Yes, 12. It seems the owner is a fan of swimming and apparently doesn't like to always swim in the same one. The main house has 19 stunning luxury rooms. Dang. They got 12 pools and 9 luxury rooms. 14 bathrooms, antique furniture, and several terraces. Inside, you can see... I don't really like this place, guys. Like, it's kind of like an old schoolish like type of mansion. Like, by, back in the 90s. Like, I'm not feeling the vibe. I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't buy the house if I had the money, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, i buy the house, but I won't live in it. You know, I can rent it out to people and I can make my money back. That'd be the smart thing to do, but I would not buy the house for myself, guys. Simply because I don't like the designs. I like futuristic type of designs. Like we're going to, you know, 20, we're going to, we're going to, uh, We're going to 2020. You feel me? Tracks, bowling lanes, several dining rooms, and even a movie theater. As expected, there are also great value marbles and ancient works of art. Everything a luxurious house should have can be found here. 
Since this house is so impressive, it has been the star in multiple television shows and has appeared in Forbes magazine. As Dang, he was on television shows and magazines? Like, whoever, I'm telling y'all, I buy it, you know, to rent it out and let people use it because you're making money off of it, but you won't see me living in the house. one of the most important properties in the history of Europe. And the price is as shocking as the house. This incredible mansion has a cost of $360 million. Hey, $360 million? Imagine what you guys can do with that. <laughs> $360 million, man. That's a lot of money. Sheesh. Sheesh. Woodland Gate Mansion. This is getting more and more elegant. The next house is worthy of royalty and has so many luxurious things it seems even the pajamas have to be elegant so they match the incredible facilities that this wonderful home has. It's located in London in one of the most sophisticated and areas of the city. It couldn't be otherwise because this place seemed to be taken from a princess fairy tale. It was once the home of former Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri who left it when he was killed in 2005. After the tragedy, it happened to become the home of Sultan bin Abdulaziz al Saud until he died in 2011 and left this wonderful palace waiting for his next host. It has 5,574 square meters and is full of luxuries. To give you an idea, this house has 45 rooms. Yes, you heard right. So if you're a hesitant person, Dang, 45? choose 45? 45 rooms. Be quite difficult. On top of that, it has a pool in the basement. How cool is that? A pool in the basement? I never... Uh, <laughs> it don't look like the basement to me. Basement... The basement ain't basement is, you know, downstairs, down below the house. Like, that looks outside to me, right, y'all? If you want to go from one floor to another, you don't have to worry about going up and downstairs because this mansion has elevators. Luxury and comfort always go hand in hand. It has golden plywood, and the industrial kitchen is perfect to prepare the most incredible dishes. Although with such luxury, a chef would be the best option. Don't you think... This house, yeah, guys, we will begin a chef real soon. The full of small and very expensive ornaments that not everyone can afford to buy. As a consolation prize for those who couldn't afford to buy this very expensive property, in the year 2015, an auction was held so people could buy some of the exquisite products that were inside the house, which, as you can imagine, weren't the cheapest things in the world. From gold plated paintings, Italian paintings, or Murano glass chandeliers, damn, that spot would just look big, period to the semi-precious stones that covered the 24 marble bathrooms. About 640,000 euros were collected. If you want to live in a house like this, you need to amass approximately $480 million available. 480? What? Oh my God, and them guys have money like that? That's crazy. They big balling out here. On they up like Donald Trump? Bank account, nothing easy, right? But as they say, dreaming is free. This house isn't free though. Number two, Antilles. Whoa, look at that house, y'all. Like, dang. Dang, I can see why it's number two right now. I'll, I don't even gotta look, I don't even, we don't even have to look at the designs and the inside, guys. Just the outside part. Like, I'm gonna automatically buy it just because of the outside. Like, that's dope, y'all. Like, that's literally dope. That, is that house like the tallest building in the city? And that's in India, y'all. We buying it. Let's, let's see how much it costs. Mumbai, India. We're coming closer to the end of our countdown. And in the second spot is a house that is as impressive on the inside as it is on the outside. It was built from scratch in India and is considered one of the most incredible houses ever built. At first glance, you may think it's a building with several apartments, but no, that's the house. Incredible, right? That is incredible, y'all. Like we buying that. <laughs> we don't even gotta see the design in the in the inside. I'm already known the designs are gonna be cold. House is so expensive, it's only surpassed in price by the luxurious Buckingham Palace. So if you want, you can go research to see if you can find out the price before we tell you. This peculiar building is located in Alta. I'm thinking probably six six hundred million. What y'all think? Around there too. Road. The most luxurious avenue in Bombay and one of the most expensive places in the world. It has 27 floors, but at first glance, it seems to be much higher. And the reason is that each of its floors was built with double and even triple height. And that makes the building look about 40 stories high. Can you imagine living in such a big space? The 
Man, I can I can imagine living there with a whole bunch of girls. We we about to get lit, and I'm taking y'all with me, cause we gonna be lit. The crazy thing is that the family that owns the house has only five people, but in a house as huge as this is, finding your family can be a difficult task. So any tantrum with your parents can be much better here, because if you want, you can get out of their sight for a long time without leaving the house. There are many amazing things in this place, but one of the most outstanding is the basement where the family's small collection of cars rests. Can you guess how many there are? Dang, what? That look like a whole garage. Like if you go into a hotel or something, huh, y'all? That's crazy. You could park. I wonder how many cars could fit in here. We're gonna make it easier and tell you. 168 cars. 168? Guys, imagine just having 168 exotic cars in your garage. And you got 168 to pick from. That would be crazy, huh? And as you can imagine, they are among the most luxurious cars in the market. The family has over 600 employees who are responsible for activities such as maintenance, cleaning, and of course preparing delicious dishes so that you never miss delicious food in any of its several dining rooms. But despite all the luxuries, this family is still faithful to their religion, and among many things, they also have a room to pray. Building this incredible house cost one- Dang, they have a room to pray? Come on, y'all. We gotta pray right now that we can get this house and we get to the top. Please, God, help me get a million subscribers. Thank God, amen. Let's get it, y'all. Million dollars, and today has doubled its value. Amazing. Number one, Buckingham Palace. Wait, how much did it London, cost? England. Of course, preparing to list any of its stories. Doubled its value. To pray. Building this incredible house cost one billion dollars. One billion dollars? Dang. Dang. India got, so whoever, whoever had that much amount of money had some money. Dang. One billion dollars, guys. Imagine just having one billion dollars. Let me know down in the comments, like, if you had a billion dollars, what would you do with it? Number one, Buckingham Palace, London, England. This place could not be left out of this countdown, since it's one of the most expensive places. And also, not only do you need money to live here, but you also need to have royal blood. Definitely, the Buckingham Palace has the most impressive, luxurious, and unattainable facilities in the world. Everything about this place is simply amazing. The Royal Residence, official home of the Queen of England, was originally built as a private home for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703. Although the exact figure isn't known, the value of Buckingham Palace is estimated at a trillion pounds. That is a lot of money. A trillion pounds? That is a lot of money, guys. Dang. I'm swimming in that. There are so many rooms here that we don't think they'll ever be all occupied, unless they invite us to sing songs. Altogether, this luxurious palace has 775 rooms and 78 bathrooms. S 700 rooms? Did, he, did I hear that correctly? Invite us to sing songs. Altogether, this luxurious palace has 775 rooms and... 775 rooms? What? That's crazy. Eight bathrooms. One of the main attractions of this palace today is that inside are the main and most important jewels of the British royal crown. When the palace opens its door to the public, those fortunate few have the opportunity to see them. And of course, this residence has one of the greatest security systems in all of England. The gardens of Buckingham Palace. Dang, they got security there too. They have a whole bunch of security. That's like, that's kind of like the White House, huh? Kind of look like the like the version of the White House. Are the largest private gardens in London. The artificial lake was created in 1928 and receives water from Serpentine Lake, a lake located in Hyde Park. In the palace, you can find many masterpieces. Works of art commissioned by the monarchs to artists such as Rubens, Rembrandt, Canaletto, and Vermeer are exhibited there. The main halls of the palace are in the noble zone. They are truly majestic rooms where receptions, dances, or ceremonies are held. The throne room, the green room, and the guard room stand out. Definitely living here is a privilege, and as we've told you before, living here isn't just a matter of money. Although there are very few who could pay the billions of pounds this luxurious property costs. But don't feel bad. You can keep on dreaming and working, so you too can have a house so impressive someday that it may appear in one of our countdowns. Yeah, definitely, guys. We will be getting a lot of money very soon. Make sure you smash the like button. You already know, it's grind season. But anyways, guys, that was me reacting to the five most expensive houses in the world. 
As you can see, I liked it that Indian one. The Indian one was my favorite one. Let me know down in the comments which house was your favorite. But anyways, guys, you know, I really enjoyed the video. And it just makes me motivated and think bigger. Like, yo, I need to get a house like that. That's really goals. Like, it makes me think way bigger. After seeing this, I'm really motivated to get to the top. So, yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Smash the like button. Turn that notification bell on. But, yeah, guys, I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah.